What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Sakina, and I'm back with another review. This is my review for The Real Housewives of Atlanta. This is season 15, episode 4. Be sure to check us out tonight on the Whether You Like It or Not panel. It will be hosted by Yacrates, and uh, check us out at 8.30 Eastern Standard Time. I always find myself, like, trying to not say 9. So, yeah, that was a whole thing. But um, I know I haven't posted my Bell Collective review yet. That'll be up soon, you know, after... Housewives of Atlanta, then Martha's Vineyard come on Summer House. So I'll be getting those out hopefully before I go out of town. Um, they should be up by then. But you know, I had to work this weekend and I didn't feel like doing anything. So I just kind of feel like I'm still trying to recover from that. And then on top of that, when I work from the weekend, I work on the weekend. I have to work six days straight instead of five. So it's not really a fun time. But yeah. Anywho, um, I should be good before I head back to Maryland. So, yeah, just to keep y'all notifications on, okay? Y'all know when I post. But anywho, let's go ahead and get into this review. So, it opens up with Mayetta and Kenya going over some choreography for the Magic City uh, classic that Kenya is a part of. She'll actually be doing the halftime show and Kenya Murray Hair Care is sponsoring that. I said, okay, that's good. She said every time she gets approached, not every time, but when she gets approached is always in regards to the drum line that she did, the Kenya Murray Hair Care when she crashed uh, Marlo's wig launch party. <laughs> Marlo, what's up with them wigs? You still doing those wigs? Is that a source of income for you? La well, Archive, I understand. Them wigs, I think we were all lost with that. That came out of nowhere. But anyway... They're going over dance steps and all of that. And we learned that Mayetta actually had a dance troupe back in the day. So she danced for Joe, Genuine, and even Prince. I said, okay, Mayetta, not Prince. Okay. So then uh, Kenya gets a call from Rory, you know, her restaurant bay, And she blushing and all of that. And uh, production was asking, you know, when did you know that he was the one or more than friends? And she said, once he hit it, basically, she said them Yelp reviews was a 9 out of 6. I said, not 9 out of 6, a 9.6. I said, hold on, wait. let me find out you've been watching my girl, Erica. Huh? Shout out to Erica De Niro TV. Hey, diva. She might be watching your reviews, child. Anyway, um, yeah, so... She said that she's been separated since 2019. Mark is stalling on sign of the divorce papers. And at this point, she doesn't want to wait. And she shouldn't wait. You should not wait. Girl, go live your life and leave that man behind. And you know what? I've been watching old seasons of Housewives because I've just been in a mood. And um, I think I'm on season 11. The one where Shamari and um, Eva are full-time cast members. But... Anyway, I done watched like two seasons and just the season where she met Mark. When I tell y'all, I cringed so much every time she would talk about him. Some of the stuff that she did was just cringy. Like she called him and was leaving him a voicemail. But the way that she was leaving a voicemail, it was as if she was actually talking to him on the phone. And I was just like, can you stop? And it was, you know, my man, my man, my man. And... My sis went out bad with that one. But you know what? Better days. Okay, Team Twirl is now Team Swirl. And if that works for you, go ahead, Stella. I'm here for it. Get your groove back. Sonya, your family, you know, you breaking the news to your mom and your sister that Ross is ready to be the Rosses under one household and get the rest of your family out of there. You know, the mom was like, I thought it was the agreement was a year or two. Yeah, it's been a year at this point. But I'm just confused because somebody lied here. Now, Sonya, we know that you have a little lying problem. You told Candy that your mom is wanting to go back to Florida. Your sister has been over it and ready to move out. But then once you bring it to their attention, your mom is confused as to what the date was. And then your sister has an entire attitude and is taking it personal. Sis, you don't even seem to want to be there. And then in your confessional, you're saying that all y'all being under one roof is allowing Sonya and Ross to move freely without having to worry about Deuce, meaning that y'all are the babysitters. And Sonya is not selfish. See, she's self-centered. And the mom second that. 
But I'm like, wouldn't that be a better situation for you then with this complaint that you have in your confessional? Because once you're out, they're going to have to find somebody new if you're not available, right? And if your parents are down in Florida, I'm not understanding. But that sister got a nasty attitude. And it's very clear that, I, like I said, I think episode one or whenever she had that conversation with Candy, that Sonya does seem very family oriented. She has goals that she wants to reach with her family before they all branch off. So it's like she has this vision for everybody to eat. But yet you seem mighty ungrateful. You and your husband who is this assistant but don't want to do his job. So, baby, y'all need to be the first to go. Marlo, you about to really make me mad. So, she's getting prepped for her Halloween photo shoot with her nephews. Her sister Crystal is there. And she's telling her that she's ready to get her record expunged. Because she has, you know, remember she had popped somebody back in the day 20 years ago so you know that was a thing of the past you know and that's if that's something that you're doing okay i mean but at the end of the day you did it i don't know why she did it but you know if that's the route that she's going down have at it courtney gets there courtney gets there and she's talking marlo is talking about candy and saying how candy seems to always want to help people and all of that but she ain't never helped marlo try to get her record expunged why on god's green earth would candy do that for you when y'all have never been that close you and candy have never been besties so it's like i don't know why you expect so much from her Y'all, you and Corny and Sheree did the same thing last season. Both of y'all expecting so much out of Candy when y'all don't even give her a quarter of what y'all expect from her. Like, literally, you sound so stupid. It is just, like, mind-blowing to me. So, Courtney is the one that's helping her because she got connections. She's a crisis manager. Okay, that's great. But Candy does not have anything to do with this. And here we are again, bringing up her deceased nephew, who used to work at Old Lady Gang. And Marlo, he does not, he did not work at Old Lady Gang at that time. A worker from him, the nephew and the roommate both used to work at OLG. Okay. But at the end of the day, they, he, your cousin, I mean, not your cousin, your nephew did not work there anymore. So I don't understand why you expect so much from Candy. Yes, yeah, she, you know, could have gave you a little bit more emotion. But like I said, everybody does not react to passings the way that you want them to. She's mad because she didn't receive flowers and all of that. I used to work at Steak and Shake. You know, God forbid, if something happened to me. I stopped working at, at Steak and Shake in 2019. And I had been working there for years, since 2012. That was my second job. If something happened to me today, Steak and Shake is not going to go on to send flowers. If something happened to me today, Nike, they're not going to send me flowers, send my family flowers. Now, my Nike co-workers that I'm still friends with, yes. But management and all of that, no. Because none of us work there anymore. So, I was like, what are you talking about? I need you to release this and let this go. And figure out what what is the... Like, there has to be some jealousy or something. I'm really trying to make sense of why she always has a problem with Kenya and Candy. Girl, figure that out. And seek help. Because your life coach ain't working. You need intensive therapy. And then I also want to know how long Marlo knew Courtney. Or are you just looking for a common ally because neither one of y'all like Candy at this point? Don't get me wrong. I know that that situation at OLG probably did trigger Marlo. Totally understand that. Because it's, you know, a shooting. You you lost your nephew because of that. And then he used to work at OLG. So I totally understand her being triggered. But the way that she's going about it, it just, it's, it's uncalled for. 
And then it's the fact that she is feeling some type of way because people are bringing up what she did 20 years ago. But you also like to, you know, hit below the belt as well. Remember what you said about Kenya and anybody else. You're, you know how to provoke people and get people to a certain point. So don't act like you're just innocent. People have to fight fire with fire when it comes to you a lot of times. Don't forget your past on this show and your relationships with the women. Uh, who is that, Sweetie? <laughs> Put that pedal to the metal. Vroom, vroom, beep, beep. What is I like? Sheree is at the doctor's office. She has fibroids and they're giving her different options on, you know, what to do. They can shrink them or they can, you know, do surgery. But surgery, she's going to have more downtime. So she can't work out. She can't, you know, have intercourse and all of this. And it's her talking about not having sex. Have y'all seen my man? He does have BDE. No, he does not. And this is not your man. Because the people are telling me through other reviews that he's not even claiming you out there in Huntsville. So, yeah. And then I heard that y'all just broke up. I don't care. Anyway, dang, I feel like I've been on lunch for a long time. I had to make sure that I, that I ain't quite in yet. Anyway, yeah, Sheree, please get away from us with this. Dr. Lady, please, you two can get the hell on with that. Trying to scare her with a possible pregnancy. And he, no. Nah. Please, let's move on. Sheree, you acting like you can't be down for a few weeks because you want to focus on she by Sheree. Girl, get, get, you ain't working on shit over there. Stop. And, and let me get this out real quick because I tweeted and it's still going, child. I did not know I was going to get any type of attention off this damn tweet. But I told y'all I've been watching, you know, old videos, not old videos, old episodes of Housewives. And you know, I tweeted that I just really don't understand why anybody would want Kim Zosiak back on Atlanta. Her Karen tendencies popped out so many times when she was a main castmate. And then when she showed her ass up on season 10 and did the absolute most, I never understood it. I after y'all seen that on top of when she was on the earlier seasons y'all want that back on y'all tv atlanta is fine being an all black cast am i right or am i right so let's not bring miss wig because she getting a divorce i don't care how much drama she got going on and how good it'll be for tv blah 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 then you let her go back to being tardy for the party don't bring her over here to RHOA. Don't. I don't. Bad enough she's going to be on this season doing a cameo. But that's also because of Corny by Sheree. Like, I, I can't I can't stand Sheree. I've never liked Sheree since season one, episode one. When she tried to stunt on Nene and have her turned around at her party. I have never liked her since I watched Real Housewives season premiere in real time. Like, mm-mm. Never seen it for her. Keeping up with the Joneses personality. Whole time you broke. Then you want to go against the black women in the group. And Kiki with this white. She was saying all kind of offensive stuff. And then you feel like you can't correct her. But you want to be the bone carrier. But not let the other girls know what this white lady is saying. You got roaches in the house and all of that. You don't even want to confront her. All Like... I've always had a strong dislike for Sheree, and I really just want her to get off my TV. You already came in here with Martell looking even dumber than you've been looking. Get her off my TV. I'm, that's all I'm saying. I just never liked her. She has some moments where I kiki, yes, but overall, I just don't, I don't like her. So we get this thing with Sonya and her parents. She's going to get her makeup and hair done. Her sister was supposed to do her hair, but her sister called out sick, which she think is some BS. And then she says that since, you know, she told them about how they want a strict timeline of when it's going to be just the Rosses in the household, the sister been acting funny to the point where her husband quit. And he said because 
he couldn't deal with Sonya and her mom and, you know, all this woman energy. I'm sorry. He said girl energy. Okay, then be unemployed. And also be an employee and get out. Yeah, y'all go ahead and get out. Figure it out. Figure it out. Y'all want to have attitudes when I'm trying to provide ways to get y'all paid? Get out and, and, and go get it on your own. I just, it's weird. I done told y'all, the, the sister is acting mighty strange. Sonya's getting emotional because she's like, you know, she's trying to help family. She's blessed. She has these opportunities and she just sees that as an opportunity for her family to, you know, go at greater heights and accomplish more together. And, you know, she just want to make sure that everybody eats around her, which I admire. I love that. But girl, if they don't appreciate it, go ahead and get them some boxes and y'all and y'all two kids can go. You got two kids and you quit. Real estate ain't working for you. So what you about to do, Tyrell? I don't know. Can you? I don't like how you talking to your assistant. Y'all let me know how y'all feel. It's kind of giving rude. And why doesn't she by Sheree have grass in her backyard yet? I don't get it. They, do y'all notice that even when I'm watching the old seasons and they do like the, what is it, aerial shot, aerial shot of the house, it's still surrounded by dirt and grass, okay? Girl, that's something that, <laughs> that I say all the time. Mm, girl, it's giving dirt and grass. <laughs> so I, I inside it between me and my friend. But yeah, like, girl, why is there still dirt and grass surrounded by your house? Can, you can't afford some sod, some turf. So the girls are on their way to Birmingham and Candy and Drew aren't there. Drew is sick. Candy had a prior engagement. Kenya is feeling some type of way, especially because Candy isn't there. And you know, that's her right hand woman. And um, she got to get on the bus with Marlo and Courtney and people that she really don't even like. And Courtney don't even know, like, if her and Ralph's second, third, fourth cousins, like, she don't know none of that. And did y'all notice when Courtney is introduced on the show, like, under the the screen or at the bottom of the screen they have Sheree's friend slash Ross cousin he is not a peach holder keep that part out of it anyway they're on the way there they're talking about all the things that they have prepared on the trip I noticed that Kenya coughed when they was at Sheree house still but she's still coughing on the way there Marlo hacking Sonya in in the middle of it all and it, it just made me uncomfortable. Like, girl, maybe you should have canceled too because your ass is sick. Obviously, Kenya. So then they start talking about eating ass. And uh, <laughs> they was talking about they never did it, but Kenya did it before. And look, I look at it like this. Whatever you do sexually is what you do sexually. Just as long as it ain't with animals and children, do what you do. Now, wait a damn minute. Because this dance-off that y'all did, how did y'all give it to Sheree? Can you please explain this? I know you don't like, you know, Courtney. You don't like Marlo. But let's call it what it is. Marlo should have won. Marlo should have got the bigger room in the discussion. Because one thing about it, Marlo be, baby, she got, she got style you needs for sure. But she won that fair and square. Now they at dinner and Courtney gets a call from Bryce. Kenya's like, wait, Bryce? I only know one Bryce. He was in the music industry. She was like, yep, that's that's him. That's my father. He's the uh, the father of my child, child. And then they put him on FaceTime because she said she ain't seen him since, you know, back when they did that movie Twa. Now, I ain't never seen Twa, but a lot of people said that that was like a, a threesome type of movie or whatever. But yeah, she said she ain't seen him and he was good looking back in the day. I said, girl, you're going you gonna to be real disappointed. I mean, he's not an ugly man. Don't get me wrong. I said, but he, he, he don't look like he used to look in the 90s. You do, but he don't. So yeah, she got on the on the phone with him. They had a conversation in her confessional. She said, yeah, he was very attractive in the 90s. And she gonna leave it at that. Yeah, because uh, we, we gonna say 90s, early 2000s. Because Beauty Shop was early 2000s or mid, like, like 05 or something like that. I want to say it was like around that time. Nonetheless, it was still early. So yeah. Then they started talking about what happened down at Drew's show. Kenya was like, yeah, I heard that Marlo was yelling at Drew. Marlo got defensive. Girl, yeah, you was definitely doing a lot. And you had a lot of displaced anger. So I don't know why you piping up. 
but you definitely was doing what Drew said that she was doing. Marlo complaining about this room charade too, but more so Marlo I want to focus on is just so, so old. So old. She does this damn near every season. Now, yeah, when y'all went to Blue Ridge, girl, you did what you needed to do. But then we also kind of side eyeing it because it's the same house that they was at the following season on Married to Medicine. So it's like, maybe it's a coincidence. I don't know. Or maybe Bravo got a deal. We don't know. Anyway, girl, this is just a running thing with you. You did that when y'all went to um Miami to go surprise um Nene. You was trying to take Portia's suite because your suite wasn't big enough. You did that on another season. Like, girl, we're tired. Find something else to do because you giving one trick pony. Brooklyn is so freaking adorable when... Kenya was packing and she had her little hair pin to the side with her curls. So cute. Anyway, they're getting ready to go to this charity event. Now, Kenya, I'm going to say this. You did not provide them with the itinerary beforehand. So the women did not pack accordingly because you did not tell them everything that they needed to pack. So you can't get mad because they're not prepared. I mean, we already know some of the ladies are definitely late. They run late and they, you know, do things on their own time. But, yeah, Mangetta came down with this silver piece. She had to go back up. She found a, a dress that she can throw on. But you can't catch an attitude because everybody is not prepared. When well, you have not prepared them with the plans for them to have the appropriate clothing. It don't work like that, sis. Child Soda, they end up getting put out of the, the charity event. Because all of this, we got to be on time, X, Y, and Z. They get there, baby. Dress code is not strict. People doing what they want to do, wearing what they want to wear. And most importantly, people are fans, okay? This is not an upscale, high-class, exclusive charity event. This is general public, boo. It's people like me in there, okay? And they get in videos and, and pictures. You got people trying to get pictures of Kenya. You got... Oh, I'm watching the dog outside. You got people doing videos. Child, it's just a whole mess. So they looking like, we had to get dressed for this? This ain't even what you said that it was going to be, Kenya. So what? what's going on? Now, Marlo and Sonya, they get there late. Here go Marlo trying to look for a moment. Um, Ma'am, yeah, can you please get me a bottle of champagne with a sprinkler? I, I want the girls who left us to know that we have arrived. Whole time, King of Pete them. Is that Marlo and Sanya? Y'all come over here. Your moment failed, miss. So then they go to the rooftop. Child, they couldn't even sit down good before production was like, uh, yeah, they don't really like us being here because it's more of a distraction and it's taken away from the event that's going on. Shout out to Tisha. Y'all is in Alabama. So they had to go. They left. And then they're sitting in the lobby because, you know, Kenya, she went up to her room. They went to the lobby and they was like, I mean, this is kind of giving like they're being left out of something. And honestly, in this moment, I do feel them because, yes, and Marlo said exactly what I thought earlier on. Kenya, since you're not the, grac the most gracious host, you're not. You can have a very rude attitude. Yes, South Carolina was a disaster. Your attitude was very nasty, and I didn't like that. And then she said that she did it in Blue Ridge. Blue Ridge, that was Marlo's trip, and it was just like, girl, whatever. I don't fool with you. So, yeah, you're not the best host, and you didn't have an itinerary, a rundown of what they would be doing. And then, you know, you leave them early. And I understand that you have your daughter with you. Totally understandable. The rest of the women, they can make their own fun, but it just always seems like something when it comes down to you hosting i i need you to do better sis because you 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 striking out so then they want to go and confront her in their room and they go banging on the door y'all know that her daughter is there y'all know that marlo sheree marlo and sheree stumping not stumping but you know kicking the door with their feet and then sonya not and then Marlo continued to knock on the door, knowing that Brooklyn was in there after Kenya opened the door and cussed them out. And she's talking about, you need to take Brooklyn out to another room 
and basically come out with your broke ass. Like, girl, what is this? Marlo, snatch her, her and Sheree, snatch their pieces, peaches. Let's find somebody else. Let's find somebody else because these two can definitely go. Uh, and that's all I got. I don't care. This episode really wasn't giving much anyway. And I got to go to the store. So let's get down in the comments and talk. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.